this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Spartan here, coming at you with a video here on a deck profile. Uh, for those of you who do not use Dev Pro, you're kind of out of luck here, because uh, there are some cards that will be on this that you won't be able to use um, until War of the Tech and Galaxy gets a little further into it. As we Actually, I should say, when we narrow down towards uh, Lord of the Tech and Galaxy. Um, for those of you who don't, this will be good for you. Um, it's been working very well for me. Prophecy, uh, I've been running for... Let's see, how, how many days have I been playing this build? I believe... Four or five days now? And I only have three losses with it. The three losses, one of them was the wind-ups. Uh, I lost them 2-1. And six Sams, I lost them 2-1. And, uh... Mermaz lost them 2-1. Uh, I've beaten each deck at least once before. Um... I've played a lot of really good decks. Uh, I've dueled about 23 times with this deck, so I'm 20 and 3. That's not too bad. It's pretty good. But uh, let's get into the deck, shall we? We have one Wheel of Prophecy. I should probably go into card info so you can read something. Um, he seems to be a really good card. It has been working very nicely for me. Uh, when this card is special summoned by the effect of a spellcaster type monster, you can target any number of your banished spellbook spell cards, shuffle those targets into the deck, and return them meaning. Small book, small cards of Grey Bay. Excuse me. You can only use the effect of Wheel of Prophecy once per turn. So typically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use Temperance's effect. Um, I believe it was Fools? No. Yes, it was Fools. Um, if there are five or more small book, small cards. Otherwise you would use Justice's effect. And uh, you would summon Reaper. And with his summon, if you have five or more special summon level five or higher, you'd special summon a level five or higher uh, dark spellcaster type monster, which would be him for that, or you bring up Prophecy of Destroyer. If you do that, the next turn you can overlay into Photon Strike Bouncer. Um, unless you go through with Temperance's effect first. Go with, well, no, you can't even do that because you would only be able to summon just Reaper, but um, it would either be Justice or Fool's effect you'd have to go off with. Um, you bring out Reaper and you'd either bring him out or you'd bring him out. Um, or you can just use Temperance and go into High Priestess, um, or even Fool into High Priestess, or not Fool, uh, Fool, uh, Justice, sorry. Um, I choose to run two High Priestess, um, I felt three was a little bit much, I didn't want to have her clogging my hand. I understand she's one of the heart cards of the deck, but I prefer two, it's been working very nicely for me. Uh, one Prophecy Destroyer, one Reaper of Prophecy. Easily go into Photon Strike Bounds or, um, been working very nicely. Two Breaker, I mean, I've, I've been saying to a lot of people I didn't really want to run Breaker. I thought it was a bad card for them. Um, I mean, running with running it without them, it worked all right. Not as good. I mean, I was losing a little bit more. Um, but it's, it's because Breaker is a good bait for Bottomless, Baylor, Torrential, you know, all that stuff. And you don't really want that on your monsters. So, you know, I, I tried it out after people were telling me. I mean, I used to use them in my old build. My old build kind of sucked. Um, but adding Breaker into it, and I was like, you know what? They're right. You know, I probably should just use it for it. I mean, Valor, really not so much. Uh, but Breaker, at least, to bait out some stuff. Um, Strength of Prophecy at 2. It's a pretty good card. You can shuffle a spellbook. I'm sorry. I keep you going. I'm tired. Most per turn, you can shuffle one spellbook spell card from your graveyard into your deck. Target one. Face up spellcaster type monster in the field increases level by one and by five hundred attack, and you can even target herself or his stuff. I believe it's a girl. I don't know, but that's a pretty good effect. Um, then I got one full of prophecy um, by sending a spellbook spell card once per turn from my deck to my graveyard um, during the end phase of the turn. I activate this effect. If I have five or more spellbook spell cards in your graveyard, you contribute this card. Special summon level five or higher dark spellcaster type monster from your deck. So that's pretty good. And that's where you can bring out Reaper and then Reaper's effect. You can either bring out Wheel or you can bring out Prophecy Destroyer, because you'll obviously have five or more darks or five or more uh, spell ca uh, spell book cards in your grave. Uh, one Justice and of course one Temperance. I mean, I don't really think you honestly really need to run three Temperance or three of Justice or three of Fool. I honestly don't think you really need one of each. I mean, maybe two if you really want to go with that. Uh, but one of each has been working very nicely for me. Um, and of course, one Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. Or three of them, sorry. I think you pretty much need to run three. Um, 
He adds any spellable card from your deck to your hand. Whether he's flipped face up or if he's normal summon, it really doesn't matter. And it's really not hard to boost him up either. In one turn, I can get him to 3,000. Uh, excuse me. Um, 2,000. 2,500. I've actually done it plenty of times. Uh, with the help of one spellbook of power, uh, I have one spellbook of crescent. Well, spellbook library of the crescent. Um, I feel two is a little too much. One has been working just fine. Uh, two spellbook of the master. You could target any uh, normal spellbook spell card in your graveyard, and its effect becomes that. For the turn, and you can only activate one per turn. That is insane. So basically, you can have uh, four secrets in this deck. It's insane. Um, two spellbook of eternity, because you're probably gonna end up having some of these spellbook cards banished. You're gonna want to get them back, so that's what you use this for. Um, so three secrets, two divine judgment of spellbooks. I say two. Um, excuse me. I just exhausted. I had a long day of school today. Um, but for Divine of Judgment, I mean, there's some people that are saying, why aren't you running three? He said three is a little bit much. Why aren't you just running one? Because you can use two. I mean, two seems to be like an even amount for me so far. I haven't had to use it, so it's just been sitting there, waiting to be used. I mean, its effect is annoying. During the end phase of the turn, you activate this card. Any number of spellbook spell cards from... Add any number of spellbook spell cards... From your deck to your hand, accept divine judgment of the spell books. Up to the number of spell book spell cards activated this turn after this card was activated. Then special summon one spellcaster type monster from your deck whose level is equal to or less than the number of cards added to your hand this way. You can only activate one divine judgment of the spell books per turn. So that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It's it seems really, really good. Um then of course two book of eclipses. You'd be surprised how good this card actually is against the opponents. Uh two spell book wisdoms. Two Spellbook Fates, two Spellbook Star Hall, um, one uh, Spellbook of Life, two Spellbook Grand Tower, or Grand Spellbook Tower, I'm sorry, I keep hiccuping too. Um, I honestly think three was a little bit much. I may run another one, just, I mean, 41 card deck isn't going to do too much, uh, so if I find two becomes a problem at any point in time, I'll end up running three. Um, for traps is the Transmigration Prophecy, such a good card. Um, and two compulsories. I haven't had a need for a side deck, so I didn't bother making one. Uh, for the extra deck, I have uh, Hierophant of Prophecy, Guide, Dragoon, uh, Big Eye, uh, Force Focus, Photon Strike Bouncer, Utopia, Shockmaster, uh, Papal Operative, Black Ship of Corn, uh, Terrafang Wolf, which is Diamond Direwolf, Steel Swarm Roach, My Stroke, Abyss Dweller, Gagaga Cowboy, and Shining Elf. Um, in the description down below, I'm going to leave a link to um, Lovely A's profile. Uh, I did get some help from him, her. They still haven't disclosed if it's a guy or girl. I'll just said some people question it, so I don't know. Uh, but leave a link to the profile there, and of course, subscribe to that channel if you haven't. Um, so that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, so make sure you slap that subscribe button. See, I can't even talk. Scrap. Subscribe button. Derpy de derp derp up on top and the like button down below. You can leave a comment down below on what you think of the build. Uh, if you feel you if you have enough knowledge of prophecy of what you could do to help me out, uh, get it even better. I mean it's pretty much been doing exactly what they're meant to do. Um, I'm twenty and three with it. I've been facing a lot of really good decks. I mean I faced a couple photons and a couple other bullshit, but the majority of it was all like tier one, tier two decks. Um, also leave a comment down below if you'd like to request deck profiles for any time in the future. And of course leave a comment down below if you'd like to get involved in any videos. And that's it for me guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.